Don. Okay. Hi, I'm Don. Um, I, I started trading over a year ago. Um, I started out in penny stocks. Then I went into regular stocks. Um, it was kind of slow for me because you had to wait, you know, uh, two days for the transactions to clear. Um, so I got into options. Um, I, I kind of struggled with options, went back and forth. I discovered SPX. I got addicted to that. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, I discovered futures, which I didn't really know a whole lot about. I thought mm -hmm. futures was going to be a little bit too... Um, too expensive and you know i always heard that you know you could lose all your money and all this other stuff but um i i did some research and discovered that that wasn't the case because you've got you know minis and micros um and it's all manageable and and the thing that attracted me the most to them was um you know there's no there's no um none of the greek alphabets no theta yep. um the no expirations you don't you know no pattern day trade rules um, you know, you could, you could use your own cash account, but I discovered a prop account, um, which was apex. That was the first one I discovered, uh, started, started buying those eval accounts, uh, at, at the, you know, they always have an 80% off or a 90% off during holidays. Yeah. Um, uh, started, you know, getting some, uh, performance accounts after passing the evals and just kind of going, you know, going through those and, and, um, trying different strategies to 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 keep them al alive as long as possible, um, but I was always interested in in these auto traders. Um, I know Apex has one with their little system they have. It's kind of confusing if you if you don't take the course from day one, and you don't you know you gotta you gotta learn all the definitions of what's PDT, you know things like that, and 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 look at the um, the charts. There's a lot of noise on their charts, um, which leads me into obsidian i i ran into a guy in the facebook group the 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 apex um uh facebook group and and he he was showing his charts and i started asking him questions um and he was like yeah i, I use he didn't really give me too much info so i did i kind of did my own research i went on the website um uh, i saw that there was beta testing available so i i emailed the the address that was on there mm -hmm. and um um and then i started talking to kyle and um he set me up you know how to how to do my charts and everything and then um i i met miami max and he was telling me how he sets his up and um i learned the different bar lengths and and different strategies for intraday nighttime if you want to do nighttime or whatever and i just kind of started tweaking everything and and um, um playing with it the first week that i had it um i, I blew six accounts um just messing with the settings. Um, but once I, once I figured out which bar, I did a lot of back testing. So once I figured out which, which ones I was most comfortable with, um, I was able to, um, become, start, you know, making profits. And, um, it hasn't been that long, maybe two weeks. Um, I'm starting to be more consistent with the software, but the, the thing that I learned is, is it, it's never going to be fully automated. I mean, it has to be like one heck of a trending day for, for it to be fully automated. But um, you have to be able to read the, the market. You have to, you know, just follow what's what's happening. Make sure you don't get caught in chop. Um, if you do, then, you know, you're definitely going to have to do manual trades and and do shorter scalps. But um, I use I use it a lot. For, I listen to the voice. So if it tells me, um, you know, a bearish move is happening, um, I wait for confirmation from it. And then um, I'll enter the trade and, and um, just kind of follow the stops with my with my mouse and um, try to get in and out without taking too much of, of a loss because they do happen. And um, sometimes the software will if you don't put your settings right, it'll reverse on you because it'll say, oh, hey, we're going this direction now. So I'm going to get you out of this trade and put you into this trade um that that part was frustrating for me in the first week but i got that down so when that, when i enter a trade now i turn it off i turn off the um i disarm it because i don't want a reversal okay. I, i'm gonna i'm gonna let it hit my stop loss you know um or it's gonna go the direction i wanted it to um and but well, just in addition for the, the new people um let me 
kind of give context to it too is that you know uh don uh, has been a quick learner in terms of charts and you know knowing support and resistance uh, and he can manage it on his own um, but if you're new at it just keep in mind that uh, when it takes you out of one trade and puts you into the opposite direction uh, it's like hitting the the reversal button uh, right over here you know like automatically hitting the reverse button and that does it for your protection. And that does it because um, the auto trader uh, is reading that it's going in the opposite way. So, you know, um, it has, it, it's um, it's like a training wheels, okay? So, but Don obviously is uh, ahead of the curve uh, on that. And that's why he's able to do that. Yeah, so uh, one thing, I took note of when, when, when that happened was, okay, now that it's doing this, are we starting to get into a, a choppy type or is it, you know, is there consolidation happening? So I start watching the consolidation to see, okay, the longer it goes, the bigger, the bigger outbreak we're going to have um, or a breakout. Um, so I'm waiting for the breakout to happen. And, and then I'll, so I'll, I might disarm it and just wait. But a lot of times, a lot of times, um, um, but through my back testing, uh, I noticed, you know, the best times to 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 use this is that first hour of, of the market. And um, whether it be the after five minutes when it opens or, you know, after the, the first half an hour. But within that time frame of of, you know, uh, 930 Eastern to 1030 um, Eastern, um, I'm usually done trading because um, I. It, it moves it moves very well and um i think last week was the exception though because i think that that was probably the worst week i've had since i traded futures it was really back and forth and a, yeah. a lot of consolidation that's right it was super wild so um that's a market unfortunately you know you can't you can't avoid it um the the key is uh um knowing how to use a tool um, in in the best possible uh, scenarios. Uh, as a matter of fact, if we're looking at the uh, chart right now, uh, we are in in chop. We see it in the uh, uh, Orenco. I have it in simulation right now. Um, so it has it in the Orenco. You have the zigzags. You know that's a uh, you know that's chopping. And of course, you know right now we are aftermarket. And uh, even when you look at the, the uh, Heiken Ashi. Uh, candles on the 10 minute uh, look at this and you know that it was uh, super duper choppy today because uh, look at the candle wicks and how long they are you know and often and many of them actually have it uh, both at the top and the bottom so when you see a lot of this stuff you know when it's hairy okay it has hair on both ends when the, uh, the candles are hairy uh, you know that uh, it's a choppy day so um, earlier today, I, I quit or um, I, I stopped trading because I actually hit my uh, stop loss. And, um, you know, me being the quote unquote expert, uh, went five for uh, zero for five in manual trading. So uh, today is not I'm not the most confident guy today right now. So uh, here we go. But Don, uh, you you ended up in the green. I saw that. So congratulations. Oh, yes. Yeah, so funny thing is, um, um the, uh -oh. my I took the trade right away like I, I I normally wait you know the first five minutes yeah um but I saw it taking off so I jumped in the trade I ran it up to thirteen hundred dollars my chart froze on me I was not able to control the chart at all my ATM yeah. um I had for 80 ticks it it hit my ATM and and luckily it did that otherwise if it would have reversed anywhere between you know, 40 and 60 ticks, I would have, I would have been um, at a, I probably would have lost my money, but um, right. I, my computer froze on me and, and I, I just kind of like, it just happened. And I got, I think um, thankfully it went in my direction, but um, the one thing that I, I, I do advise everyone is, is to um, network with each other and help each other because yes. um, that's the only way you're going to be able to, to, find the right thing you know if you're learning from each other you can find the right atms and the and the right settings for your charts 
Um, anytime somebody asks me for help, I, if I can help them, I, I do because um, I know what it's like to struggle and, and um, you know, I, I network with each other and, and, and that's, you know, I think you'll become profitable if, if you just listen and take notes and, and just, you know, help when you can. Please, uh, <clears throat> Uh, let's help each other in that process because uh, no man is an island and uh, we can succeed together. I mean, this is, uh, um, I don't know how many of you uh, play poker, uh, but this is not a zero sum game. You know, if if you win, the other person loses. That's the way poker works. Uh, this is different. Okay. When uh, we eat, everybody eats. Okay. So uh, let's definitely help each other out um, in trading, in <clears throat> uh, having the right uh, uh, ATM um, strategies because there are so many different strategies. So, uh, Don, uh, you said 80 ticks, right? So what uh, your stop loss, is that a static stop loss? Yeah, so my stop loss was uh, um, set to uh, 40 ticks. 40 ticks, okay. And then your profit taking is 80? Yes. So I had a one to, uh, two to one uh, risk to reward. All right, so that is a static uh, stop loss. It's not a trailing one, right? You know what? It actually, it, no, it's, it is it is a trailing one because at 20 ticks, it went to break even. Oh, okay. Very good, very good. <clears throat> okay, so had it reversed and, and your computer got all bogged down and whatnot, then um, you you might have still walked out with, with profit. Uh, it would have just... Yeah, it's it's possible. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm grateful that it, it ended the way it did because, man, it was it was exciting, but it was also <laughs> like I was panicking at the same time. <laughs> that means uh, you, you took this run right here. Yeah, so that is a... Um, and, um, you know, uh, I, I think uh, the Overwatch, you know, when you see everything just flashing green may give you that um, uh, that trade and be willing to go in like right from the get-go. Uh, I chickened out, uh, number one, because um, I'm trading in public and everybody gets to see it. Um, maybe if I was on my own, I may have taken that risk. Uh, uh, but on the other hand, I've seen days where it is running and you just enter the trade, and the moment you enter, it just reverses on you, uh, and it kicks you out. Uh, if you have it uh, under auto, um, the system will actually kick you out of that and put you on a short, and then as it goes down, you know, and just is about to turn into like profit, uh, it'll quickly reverse and start going uh, back up uh, again. You know, and I've had uh, multiple instances where I got stopped out like three times in a row within one minute uh, because of that um, movement early on. So, uh, Don, I think you, you lucked out there and uh, you got paid. So that that's good. All right. Well, normally what I'll use is the one the one trip. What is it? The one con then Q trail, the, the yeah, one that you contract. use. Uh -huh. Yeah, I usually use that one. Yeah. Um, but. When I saw it take off, yeah, I I switched my I switched my strategy to to uh, a three contract. Um, Whoa, I got okay. in with, yeah, I got in with three contracts, so um, okay. that's why I was able to my my um without commissions, my profit was thirteen hundred bucks. Right, right, okay. So um, high risk, high, high reward, and uh, you got paid. So that is fantastic. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have, we have Floyd, George, and Otto uh, here. Uh, Kyle is probably uh, taking care of his uh, daughter right now. Uh, I'm here, but I, I I just had to step away before. Oh, uh, okay, no problem. So uh, let, let a quick touch on uh, uh, the the three of you here. Uh, how many of you are like brand new at this? Uh, how many of you are just starting the trial? How many of you are already uh, subscribing? You can chat and type it in or, um, you know, unmute your, your mic and, and uh, tell us. Okay, type it in, all right, and let us know where you're at. 
Okay. Uh, brand new, joined the Discord, trying to learn. Okay, wonderful. Uh, you are the perfect person uh, for our session. So let me take this time before we go into Q&A and go deeper and, and go under the hood. Uh, let me take this time to, um, here, let's uh, clear this out and go through um, how the buttons work, okay? Very quickly, okay? Uh, so Otto and then anybody else who's gonna be watching this video for the very first time, um, when you first open up the system, uh, obviously all these buttons are overwhelming and stuff. Uh, keep in mind that when you have it all set up, uh, there are uh, three things missing for, for me right now. I don't, uh, no, actually, there should be. Uh, there is a news item that I have right here. So we don't have any impending news. That's extremely helpful. Uh, even uh, warns you uh, vocally uh, because there have been plenty of times where uh, I'm in a trade and it's it's going fantastic. And next thing I know, it makes a U-turn. And I'm like, what in the world just happened? And I completely forgot that there was an economic report coming out. I completely forgot that one of the FOMC uh, chairs were uh, speaking. And, um, you know, when you're in the midst of trading, you can forget that. But um, Obsidian actually gives that to you. Uh, another one that, uh, so that's not visible right now because we don't have any news. Um, there is another thing that's missing right here, which is uh, Overwatch. You'll be able to, um, you'll know it because you'll see it on your system. And Overwatch basically is like Tick Strike. Okay. The only difference between Overwatch, uh, okay, two main differences. Um, tick strike kind of gives you like the ticking sound, okay? So think of this as a level two, uh, like an audible uh, level two. Whereas uh, uh, Overwatch is more of a visual uh, level two. And so if you have it right on Ninja, right in here, um, you don't really need the sound per se because you can just watch um, the level of volume that's coming in um, into each of the you know key equities that you chose to take a look at as well as the indexes and the numbers will tell you the intensity of, of which it comes okay now when you have all of this the question is well how do I basically set up there are many different ways that you can set up um, I even have different um, ATM strategies, and I'll switch back and forth based upon uh, the circumstances, right? <clears throat> like, um, if I know there's super trend, you know, I'll go into, like, uh, four contracts and take the risk of, you know, blowing up my, my account. Um, so I rarely do this, okay? Uh, so what I do typically is, uh, this is my almost always go-to uh uh, ATM strategy. Okay, I'll go deeper into this. All right. So once you choose an ATM strategy, you have your account. Okay. Now you're looking at the buttons. And when you press the buttons, these are the buttons that I use. Now you can switch around and um, come into um, the Discord. Okay. If you come into Discord under live trading, wait, somebody said uh, Zoom link. Uh, <clears throat> you can uh, during live trading you can just come on in and um, uh, type in your questions uh, or go to founders club okay if it's if you're not in a hurry you can just type it in here uh, somebody is going to uh, answer for you all right um, let me see and then here uh, you have the videos and setups. So if you read through here, you will get basically all the information that's necessary. You can click search and be able to find the information that you are likely needing. If you don't see it, again, you can go to Founders Club or Live Trading uh, and ask the questions. Okie dokie. Uh, oh, Otto, thank you for posting the link. Um, <clears throat> so here is my setup without explanation. I choose my ATM. I choose my quantity. I choose my trend filter, which is right here. 
confirmation filter. If I don't know the direction in which it's going, okay, like uh, when this thing was going south, I was I, I was already out, I was gone. But if I uh, were in this scenario where on trading view I have the futures pro indicator, and suppose I see in the ten minute I see the sell signal popping up, then I'll take a look at the thirty minute. And in the, ooh, now I don't know where, oh, here we go. Yeah, we didn't really, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, sorry. Okay, here you go. Uh, in the 30 minutes, uh, we didn't really have it until here. That's not a good example. So, okay. Uh, I look at the 10 minute, if it gives me a sell signal, I go to the 30 minute to uh, look for a sell signal. If that is the case, what I do is I just choose the shorts. The instrument is uh, NASDAQ. You click the account. I want auto trade so I don't miss any big sudden moves and I arm it. This is the setup that I use. If you're not sure in the beginning and you don't know which way it's going, just click short and long because the trend filter and the confirmation filter will kind of sort of do the job of turning it off, turning this on and turning it off for you, okay? Uh, that is, so if you do it this way, you know, it's automatic. Uh, if you have it like this, then it's more manual. Alrighty, so this is the setup that I would trade, okay? And that's it. Now, time-wise, uh, actually, before we go further into time-wise, here is the full disclosure. Um, let me give it one second, two seconds, three seconds. All right, so on the video, you can watch, uh, you can freeze frame it and just read all the full disclosures that goes into this, okay? Uh, basically, it's saying, uh, hey, um, it's all 100% completely your responsibility. We make no guarantees. Uh, past results, uh, which are many, and you can go to the winning trades, and uh, a lot of people have posted up uh, their huge winning trades. Uh, past results are no guarantee of, you know, future success or uh, future performance. So, you know, all the... Uh, risk disclosures, just keep that in mind. All right, now, um, oh, what was the second thing I was going to uh, cover in regards to this? Okay. So um, what are my tools? <clears throat> For me personally, um, and I'm doing it in live trading, okay? Um, if, so it, it's this, you, what you see here is um, a lot of the tools that I use. So I use Tick Strike because I, I like the um, audible uh, sound of it because I have another computer set up to my right and I may not be looking at this chart all the time or I may st um, step outside to get a drink of water and I wanna hear the ticking sound. Um, and sometimes I run back, okay? So I have Tick Strike. I use the uh, Futures Pro uh, indicator, uh, which is uh, my algorithm here. Uh, whoops, let me reset right here. Um, so I'm always looking at uh, the setup from a 10 minute perspective to kind of get a sense of um, any potential trends that are forming. Um, on the second chart in Ninja, I would look at uh, also the uh, 10 minute, actually, I look at the five minute Heiken Ashi. Okay. And I would trade it based off of this. Um, within the indicators right in here. Okay. Uh, I use what you call um, a, a Vossum DR. Okay which it stands for dynamic range. That is formed uh, from 9.30 to 10.30. Uh, 
uh, it gives you the range. And basically, what that is supposed to do, hold on. It's, uh, I'm trying to make it. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> I can't work it. Um, so once you have the dynamic range, uh, you have it here as well. Uh, the general rule of thumb is that uh, whenever the uh, candles go above the top here, so uh, think of it as a bowling lane. Okay, so this is the main bowling lane right here, and these are the gutters right there. These are the gutters right here. Um, if it goes above it, it is generally bullish. As a matter of fact, uh, if we were to go to this one, yesterday that was a, a clear instance of that, where we had the dynamic range formed. And the moment that it broke above that dynamic range, uh, it favored long. And sure enough, uh, we had that trend and we were able to go up this way. These are the days that you're looking for. It doesn't happen every single day, but these are the days that you're looking for. Uh, today was not it. Um, and this one, just to give you a general idea, uh, I had traded uh, the debt limit um, vote uh, overnight. This was like around uh, 8.30, 9 p.m., 9.30 p.m., 10 p.m. And um, let's just say that it blew up in my face, okay? I just... I should not have done that um, in retrospect. You know, I've put in like, what, 16, 17 hours of, of trading. And I was like, okay, that is ridiculous. Uh, at the end of that, I was minus $2,000, okay? This right here allowed me to go from minus 2,000 to positive uh, 1,100, 1,200, okay? So these are the days that you're looking for. Now, when it goes south of here okay and you see several candles forming that is basically telling you that uh, that day is bearish and off more often than not not always but more often than not you will see that type of bearish move taking place so here for example uh, it got out it came back in uh, and then it got out of it and then went all the way down to even below this support level, okay? So that is generally how I use um, the uh, or, um, the Obsidian Auto Trader. Uh, if there is this type of chop that is taking place, right? I typically just disarm it and wait. And uh, like Don said, uh, the longer you have this type of chop, uh, what's happening is there's a consolidation taking place. And once it breaks out of that consolidation, the longer it has stayed there, the bigger the move. That's the one that you want to catch. Okay, that's the one that you want to jump into. Uh, you are not partial to either being a bull or a bear. You're just playing the price action. You're just following the big boys. That's all that, that you're doing. So the, the more you avoid the chop, and by disarming it throughout the day, the better. Okay? Now, having said that, continue typing questions and stuff like that. I'll get right to it. One last thing. And Don uh, actually alluded to that. Uh, his best times of trading is from 9.30 to 10.30. Okay? My time, I would say, uh, again, this is <clears throat> my own personal preference. So come up with your own that works. Uh, my time really is from 9.45 to like 11, okay? And then I'll come back from 2 to 3 o'clock, maybe 2 to 3.30. Those would be kind of like the ideal time for me um, to focus on, on trading, looking for uh, potential uh, trends. Uh, if I missed something during the day, so be it. Um, you know, I got to do my errands. I got to have lunch. I got to relax play with the dog, walk the dog, whatever. So um, those I find after all of this time, I find those are the, the most profitable uh, time frames that has worked for me. 
uh, what has not worked for me. And as a matter of fact, I had posted it right here uh, as a reminder to myself because even knowing this, sometimes um, I get tempted and I just go right in, you know, uh, and I trade when I should not be trading. Okay. So, and this is a great reminder for uh, Otto and anybody else who's brand new, uh, who is going uh, on a seven day trial of Obsidian. Okay. Number one, uh, use your SIM account to test different, different Orenco parameters. Okay. What is the Orenco? Uh, Kyle can explain that, but um, my go-to is the 41228. Uh, Miami Max, this is the one that I picked up from Miami Max. Okay, that's the uh 164080. Okay, and what it does is it actually removes uh, a lot of the choppiness, and this is more of a swing, you know. So he would get into a trade, uh, let it run for several hours before he gets out, he hits his stop loss, uh, or he hits his uh profit target and moves on. And uh, he's been averaging over 70% win. So uh, it's working for him. And um, he's tested it, back tested it. Uh, Don, I think you're familiar with, um, you know, his strategy. Um, try different ones and see what suits you. Okay. So uh, keep that in mind. So you want to try different Orenco parameters. Okay. Um, and be able to let it run. Uh, if you go to, again, the videos and setups, uh, there'll be suggestions in there. Um, other people can give you other suggestions, all right? So, and then I, I wrote, okay, so you're, unless you're a veteran trader, 9.45 to 11, 2 to 3.30, uh, all other times are higher potential for choppy action, okay? At that time, you can turn off the uh, auto trader, um, whatever you need to do, okay? Um, how do you know that you're in a potential chop? Well, if you get stopped out three times in a row, uh, you're in a chop, okay? So stay out of it. If you hit your profit target, quit. If you hit your stop loss like I did today, quit. You're done for the day because you'll be uh, motivated to uh, over trade and revenge trade. And those are the times as I look back and I review, you know, uh, my trading, how I've done it, um, the times that I blew up my accounts were the times where I revenge traded, okay? One time I actually had put in uh, 16 contracts. Don't ask me how that went. It didn't go too well. Um, you can read the rest over here. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is uh, is this. No one has control over Rhythmic, Apex, uh, the copy trader, whether it be the Apex or the Replicanto. And sometimes there are other uh, mitigating factors, okay? Uh, I My CPU was just dragging so much that uh, I went from a, a double core to a quad core CPU. Uh, I'm still waiting for some parts to come before I can switch over. So starting next week, I think I'll be using the quad core. And um, I'll be using the Delta um, data that comes in uh, in here. Um, so <clears throat> it, your own internet speed uh, can also play a role. So there are a lot of variables. Just keep that in mind that, you know, crap happens sometimes. So uh, that's why you want to trade as risk-free as possible or manage your risk. So... Um, somebody had reached out to me the other day and they said, you know, um, you know, one time I, I, I withdrew $18,000. I was so stoked and I was so uh, confident that I overtraded and I, I blew up uh, my $300,000 accounts. I was like, e evaluation, right? No, PAs. I was like, PAs? He, he blew up PAs. I was like, whoa, dude, you know, I don't know what to do. And I said, well, risk management. And he said, well, what do you mean? Um, <clears throat> so uh, I forget what the um, threshold is, but uh, the $250,000 account, that the PAs that I have, the threshold is $6,500, okay? 
So at sixty five hundred dollars in any given trade, I don't want to be. Bill. What was that? Oh, that simulation. <clears throat> I don't want to be risking more than uh, five percent uh, into a given trade. So if I go into um, a one Q uh, one NQ contract and I have a, a forty stop loss, and sometimes I'll move it uh, based upon the support levels. Actually. Reminder to self, I shouldn't do that. But anyway, uh, when I do that, um, what I'm doing is I'm taking a $200 risk when I do that. If I do two contracts, I'm taking a $400 risk, okay? So in any given trade, I don't want to be able to risk more than $400, okay? That keeps me, uh, actually even $200 because that keeps me way below the 5% threshold uh, of losing my account, and I do not want to lose my account after I, I worked so hard to get it, okay? So value them. Actually give names to your accounts so that way they're kind of like your children because if you look at the accounts and you just see numbers, it's very easy for you to think of it as it's just an account, very impersonal. But if you give it a name and you consider it like your children, you're not necessarily going to sacrifice one child over another, okay? Uh, unless you get into a Sophie's Choice situation like that movie. But outside of that, you are not going to sacrifice your, your children. So you want to take care of it as best as possible. Uh, minim minimize the risk as much as possible because once you qualify, understand that you don't have that 30-day window. Okay, that's yours, you know, to keep. So you want to build it up even slower. Okay, take even less risk if necessary. So that way, you know, you don't have like me, you know, have a mi minus $2,000 a day uh, on those accounts, you know. So that's one, two, with a small one. You know, that's, I, I blew five, almost $5,000, you know, no, $4,300 of real money uh, today because of the uh, crazy trading. But uh, such as it is. <clears throat> In any case, uh, those are the things that you want to be able to keep in mind, okay? Um, one final thing. When you get into a trade, um, well, this is simulation, right? Uh, but it's not going to move. Okay. So when you get into a trade like this, yeah, global simulation, got it. <clears throat> oh, I have a story about that global simulation thing too. Um, when you get into a trade, okay, you will see these three bars. These are three suggested uh, stop losses, three suggested take profits, okay? Uh, these are great if you're using micros as opposed to minis. Now, uh, as the market moves, it keeps on moving up, uh, and you'll see me do it on live trade. What I will do is that I will keep on uh, moving the, the uh, stop loss um, as this one moves up. And sometimes it moves up to the point where I can actually have a, I can't move it. Oh, okay, never mind. I will move up this into a profit stop. So it's not a stop loss, it's a profit stop. Um, and that's one of the ways to make sure that um, your trade is a winner. Um, but the risk reward there is that you're playing it safe, um, but you're having a higher chance of getting stopped out of a major move. My thinking on that is, well, uh, while that is true, if it is a true super trending move, I can always jump back in, okay, and then let it run from there. Especially on tick strike, when I see like 14, positive 14, 14, 14, 14, and it just starts flying. Um, I have no problem losing a few points uh, to re-enter that position. Um, and I would rather make even 10 bucks, just moving it up here, up here. I'd rather make the 10, 15 bucks after commissions rather than taking the $200 loss, okay? Because, you know, that's real money, all righty? So anyway, <clears throat> uh, I am done yapping. Let me look at some of the... Uh, questions that we have. Uh, Kyle has mentioned uh, to use semi. Oh, so 
All right. Uh, so let's say you are in a position. Okay. And uh, Don had mentioned earlier that you do not want to get um, um, have a reversal take place on you. Okay. This is how you can actually have it set up. So if you are um, sitting there and you're watching and you're letting it trade, you can do this. All right. And what it'll do is that once it goes into a trade, um, number one, it won't do that reversal. But also number two, once that trade is done, uh, this thing turns off. It will not trade. Okay. So at that point, you have to come back and turn it on. That's one way to, to do it. All righty. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Floyd, you already subscribed. Okay, wonderful. Uh, George, you subscribed last week and learning. Great, wonderful. George, I use <clears throat> George and Floyd. Are you still uh, uh, using a, a SIM account to continually try to uh, test out parameters, or have you moved into evaluations? Let me know. I thought it was a defining range. Uh, def defining range, dynamic range, DR. Okay. Uh, based on the master's interpretation of the initial balance. Otto, you are uh, correct. If if we want to be too, uh, more precise, that would be the uh, DR. Uh, to me, it's dynamic. Uh, is it a third-party indicator? Yes, it is. Um, recently, it got posted. If you search for um, Monica or uh, DR right in here, um, it's posted recently. I think two days ago, somebody reposted it. And basically, uh, it is called, uh, hello? Donde esta usted? Oh, wrong chart. I only have it on the Heiken Ashi. Because obviously, that doesn't work on Avasum because, um, I mean, um, it, it doesn't work on the Orenco because that's uh, price-based, not time-based. So Vasam DR, okay, dynamic range, uh, defining range, there you go. And uh, that's what's going to uh, set it up. So uh, up, uh, import it into um, <clears throat> NinjaTrader, um, and as soon as imported, it'll be in the indicator list. Just double click it, you're good. All righty. Um, or you can actually go and do it here. That's a dynamic range as well. Trading view uh, has it. Uh, yes, it is a, a free indicator. Uh, it is posted on the Discord. Oh, you're telling, not asking. Never mind. Um, evaluation mostly micros, perfect. Okay. Uh, posted also in live trading chat. There you go. Okay. So. Um, any other questions or comments? Uh, anybody want to share their um, parameters that you've been using and you are finding it to be uh, extremely helpful? Hey, CJ, it's Don again. Mm -hmm. So when I was back testing, um, I back tested the uh four twelve twenty eight the eight um what is it eight sixteen twenty uh sixteen thirty yeah I think that's the one let me let me let me pull the drop down here the eight twenty forty mm -hmm. um the nine ten thirty and the sixteen forty eighty I tested all those yeah um the one that I found to be the most profitable, and I, now when I back tested, I, I it was the first half hour of the market. So, oh, okay, so you only chose uh, that time frame. That time frame, yeah. So the okay. the one that was the most profitable, um, using that time frame was the nine ten thirty. Mm -hmm. The next one was the um, the four twelve twenty eight, and then the eight um. 2040 i think i said 2040 um yeah so that that was my results um mm -hmm. based off of um last week only so 
Um, I probably need to go back a little bit further, but if anybody's interested, that's that's what I found to be uh, most profitable so far. Um, so I I think if you if you choose the the four twelve twenty eight or the nine ten thirty thirty, mm-hmm. um, you'll be okay. Um, you know, or even the eight twenty forty, um, you'll be okay. But the sixteen, um, that is more for you know, after hours, uh, I wouldn't even suggest trading after hours because I did the same thing that CJ did um, when they <laughs> announced they announced the debt ceiling. I, I, was, I immediately ran over to the, my computer. I jumped in a long, it reversed on me, went the wrong way, and I blew my account. So um, don't recommend it, it, it no matter what's happening. Um, but just wait for the market to open. Just be patient. Um, that's my biggest downfall. Not, you know, I'm always so eager to trade and try to make money. And um, sometimes I break my own rules and, and, and I know better. So um, discipline, that's, that's what's going to get you there. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about it. You know, we don't follow our own rules. That's where uh, it gets us real bad. So yeah, uh, here's uh, Kyle's uh, numbers that he has posted and they're all under um uh, you know, uh, videos and setups. So go through all of these. And if you find, actually, if you find them help, helpful like that, uh, pin it. If you pin it, next time, all you have to do is just click the pin and all the pin ones will be showing up right there. Okay. So this one, it shows up for everybody. But I think if you pin it yourself, uh, you only get to see your own, I think. I'm not sure. Double check. Uh, this was last week's uh, video, uh, and I go over other stuff as well. So I think you'll find it uh, helpful. <clears throat> uh, Kyle is posting on chat in terms of um, the different things of uh, what they mean. Um, yeah, so uh, PTC stands for a pattern, uh, pattern trend change. Okay, so it's saying, hey, there's a potential... Uh, change from bearish to bullish and vice versa okay and so audibly it'll tell you you know uh, bullish you know bullish ptc you know and then it'll say bullish uh, signal and i think it also says bullish confirmation right kyle uh when a signal first pops up it'll say uh potential whatever x yeah, signal. potential bullish uh-huh. and then when when it's confirmed it'll just say long signal ptc signal uh-huh. like bullish uh yeah. what is it bullish uh i think it says confirmed i got to double bullish check. yeah something like, yeah. yeah something to that effect okay so um yeah it does it doesn't correspond with the original because I changed some of the colors to uh, for for me to see it better. So so right here, that's the uh, unconfirmed. Uh, here is the confirmation and entering in. Also, uh, the different shading um, of the bars uh, gives you an indication as well. So here's red. Uh, it's turning green. It's fuchsia, lavender. I don't know. Uh, I only know basic colors. Light purple. There you go. And then when it turns green, uh, like for example, this would have been uh, worst case scenario if you entered here. Right? Let's say, I mean, earlier the better, but let's say you entered here. Right? Uh, you would have been able to get out somewhere right there, especially when you see this uh, diamond thingy right there, right there, okay? You can manually get out there and say, okay, I'm done. This is a nice huge run. Uh, I don't want to be too greedy because uh, hogs get killed um, and pigs get fat, okay? now You could also that, use the huh? exit on opposite signal for that. What's that? You could also oh. use the exit on opposite signal. Bingo. Okay, so for example, um, if you see a huge run and you don't know how long it'll run, right? Uh, you can click X up and it'll do that. 
it'll uh, kick you out faster than doing it manually. The moment this thing pops, uh, it'll kick you out of that trade and uh, ex exit, and um, you'll maximize, you know, five, eight, sometimes 10 ticks of uh, extra profit. Okay. So these things add up. Oh, yeah. And Don Migo is going to say you can use, uh, I, I know you said you're getting frustrated with the reversing positions on you. You could always use the semi auto to enter, and then it, it won't. It won't reverse on you because the semi will reset after it takes one trade. Yeah, I already had mentioned that. I oh. had mentioned it earlier. Yeah, definitely. Uh, just keep in mind that uh, after we're done uh, with our recording today, um, Kyle will be on uh, the live um, channel to help you guys with setup. So you can go uh, under the hood and uh, go deep into uh, whatever other questions that you may have uh regarding setup all righty so uh there was one other thing that i wanted to mention um if you go to the very top of um the meeting chat okay there is your link in order to sign up as an affiliate okay so now this is the way it's going to work okay um and everybody so like if you are on trial, just finish your trial. And obviously you need to be convinced that, oh, this is fantastic, you know? And once you subscribe, the first thing you wanna do after subscribing is sign up as an affiliate, because obviously uh, you'll be excited about it and you wanna be able to share it to other people. Now, this is the way it works. You'll have a uh, discount code as well as your own link. Uh, people can click that link. If they have a uh, cookie blocker, they have to put in the discount code. Um, and when they put in the discount code, they will get 50% off. If they don't use the discount code, there is no 50% off. Okay. So that discount is available for uh, affiliates and only those who sign up through you guys uh, we'll be able to get 50% off. And the reason we do that is to make sure that you get credit for uh, referring somebody uh, in here. I think um, Don had mentioned uh, how somebody had t uh, posted in, in Facebook. Uh, was it um, Ian or Ye Yevgeny or Ch uh, Charles who uh, um, connected with you? It was Charles. Yeah. Okay. So, um, any of those, so those three guys are there, you know, um, I, I think they're posting as well. I'm not sure. Um, feel free. So Don, you'd be like, you know, Hey, here's my setup. I, I won this. And, you know, you can start uh, touting once you have your affiliate link and, um, if they, um, and make sure don't, don't spam that place because, uh, they'll kick you out. I mean, in our own yeah. groups, uh, when somebody does that, we kick them out. You know, I don't care. And you're out. Um, so post your wins. Talk about your successes. Talk talk about your struggles. Help them out. You know, uh, pay it forward by teaching others um, who are struggling with their Apex or Buell Knox or Lilu or whichever group that you belong to. Um, and if they reach out to you uh, via DM and there's like, hey, you know, I see you're succeeding, you know, can you help me out, you know, or what are you using? What is that chart? That's fantastic. You know, then you can mention to them, you know, that, uh, oh, there is this fantastic discord group and uh, we have live trading taking place there, you know, and, you know, we got this guy named Kyle, who is a super geeky, you know, uh, you know, genius. And then this handsome looking guy named CJ, you know, and whatever, you know, talk it up. And uh, if they sign up, uh, they get to be part of our community and uh, you get um, a monthly uh, referral uh, on and on and on, every, you know, for as long as they're with us, whether it be uh, one year, two years, five years, um, you are getting uh, monthly referrals, okay? So um, that is one thing that I wanted to mention, make sure 
that we also are able to benefit that way. Uh, anything else? Okay. Oh, yeah, for, for the affiliates, just make sure you glance over the the terms and conditions for that. So that, that way, when you are sharing it, you're not going to get yourself in a, any kind of compliance issues. There's a terms of service there you should check out. Like if you're ever posting up and you're making a claim of profit, you're gonna have to attach your C CSVs to that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, if they're DMing, that's okay. If you're posting somewhere or you're allowed to post something, that you, you need to attach those things. Never say the word guarantee. Okay. There's <laughs> there's no such thing. Okay. Uh, the only guarantee that we have is that the government will print money. And they will never give themselves a pay cut. Um, and uh, they will never put themselves uh, under the same rules that they put us under. So uh, anyway, enough about that. Okay. Uh, glad to hear that uh, modesty is rampant. I know. I mean, uh, I'm the most humble guy I know. Right, Mike? So um, if you have other questions, by all means, feel free to uh, DM. Uh, I want to... We are at the one hour mark, so I want to keep this uh, as short as possible. And we're going to call it a night, uh, as well as um, wishing you a, a happy weekend. Um, take this opportunity to kind of, uh, you know, set up the Obsidian in the way that it'll work for you. And even after you have it set up, please use the simulation, okay? Until you are uh, succeeding through simulation, um, my recommendation is to not move forward uh, on, until you're you're good to go. All righty. So with that, um, y'all have a good night.